next step in uh, this process is going to be to clean up these contacts. These uh, are for the connection for the ESCs um, on all four the corners and then retinning them. Uh, and after that, shortening these leads, which I extended and soldering them onto these corners. Now, if that sounds like a lot of work and uh, tedious, <laughs> yes, it is. So maybe I should just fast forward this part of the video. It's a simple process. It is just uh, time consuming and tedious and you have to use some patience. Right, let's get to it. Now that I've cleaned up all these connections and uh, retinned them, I'm going to be cutting these long leads, uh, shortening them and soldering them on. Now, obviously when I cut them, I'm going to have to retin the tips and uh, just to get them looking nice and neat. All right, um, I've got the first one soldered on. I'm gonna do the other three as well. Um, I'm not going to record it all because it's, it's a tedious process. And if you've seen one, you've seen them all. So yeah, um, I'll be back when I have all the ESC power wires and the LED leads uh, soldered on. Now that we have the ESCs and everything sorted out, I've got all the connections set up, um, the communication cables, and I've pretty much figured out where I want everything. Um, just by the way, these little lights, the LEDs for the GPS and uh, um, the arming, disarming process, I've just put them both together right next to each other here on the back. I've just used the cable tie just to fix them there. And I'll probably use a bit of a hot glue just to keep them in place um, right next to each other. I'm happy with that. The next thing I'm going to be doing is mounting the motors or the, yeah, the brushless motors. Now, um, you might have noticed here I now have silver screws. These are actually screws which came from the original motors. The original screws for the motors are too short to go through this frame. And the screws that they give with the frame, there are 17 of these and you need 16 to mount the, 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 the motors. They are just, they are perfect in length. However, they're the same screws you use to mount the standoffs for the, the, the battery holder or this area. Now, I found that the <laughs> they're the same thickness and they don't really need to be as long so I use the, mo the motor screws which came from the original CX-20. So yeah, that being said, I'm going to mount one of these motors and that's pretty much it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not going to record the entire process mounting all four motors because it's redundant. It's going to be the same process over and over. I'm not going to speed it up. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to mount the one and uh, once I've mounted all the motors I'll come back and we can continue from there. Before I forget, um, mounting the motors obviously I am going to be using my thread locker. Now if you haven't seen this before this is the WINS thread locker or called nut lock. It's the removable kind and this is a South African product. Um, overseas you can use whatever thread locker you prefer but do not use one which cannot be removed you don't want to lock this stuff permanently if you want to replace a motor and you have used for instance the red type which is a permanent one you are going to break those screws before that thread locker releases okay now what I've done here is 
I've taken this motor and I've just straightened the wires just ever so slightly. Um, I have kept my motors pretty much in the same set as they came off. Now I have uh, one marked bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right. I want to keep the motors where they were matched to this ESCs. Not that it really matters in this case, but I want to fit this through there. So I'm just going to bend these wires down a little bit. Um, I have um, lengthened the wires as previously shown. Now this whole thing needs to be turned upside down in order for me to match the holes across from each other and get them mounted. You'll notice on your motors you have a set of screws which are further apart and two which are closer together. Now as I uh, look here these screws are the ones that are far apart and these are closer which means it can either go in that way or it can go in that way which means this these uh, wires are going to not be able to come through there I'll have to push them through there and uh, this whole mounting is going to float on top right right I'm happy with that let's mount these motors now what I'm going to be doing is just a dab of a thread locker really you don't need to ground these things in thread locker the screw it holds on to the pretty nicely guys this stuff is strong you don't want to drown your, your the screw in this stuff so you just need a dab that's all you need well that's what I believe you all need you need if anyone uh, differs from me and you think you need more Please comment below and let me know that uh, I am doing it wrong. Right, I'm not going to tighten it down all the way right now because I first want to get in a second one so we can check our alignment. There you go, that's all you need. Right, and we have our alignment set up on all the screws. Now for those wondering why you put it on a thread locker, obviously there is some vibration in these motors. Even though they are brushless, they are pretty high quality. Not, I'm not going to say high quality, but they're not bad. And um, there's still some vibration. And with vibration, it's metal turning into metal. And uh, it means that these screws can actually come loose. And if you don't have thread locker, which handles that vibration for you and locks it into place, you are going to find a motor coming loose and eventually flying off or breaking off due to cracks it creates due to all that vibration etc um, and we don't want that so yeah use thread locker where you have metal on metal again I'm using my two finger rule um, two finger rule is I only tighten a nut as far as the two fingers will allow me to do comfortably you don't want to twist it you're going to break things right that's the first motor mounted feel that it turns easily and smoothly yeah she feels good so yeah that's the first motor I will be uh, doing this uh, soldering of these cables as part of the next video but for now I'm gonna go ahead and just complete the process of uh, mounting all the motors I'm not going to do a video or <laughs> speed up or otherwise of me mounting every single one of these it's useless it's redundant and it's a waste of time and uh, I don't want to waste your time but there you go very very simple I had to use the screws that came with the frame and as I said I used the original CX20 screws to mount these uh, uh, aluminium standoffs and uh, that is my solution if you have any comments, leave them below in the comment section and uh, see you in the next video.